Hello, and thank you for choosing the Revive node. Today, we'll be taking a look on how to upgrade and downgrade your Minecraft server. For this, it'll be separated into three different sections of a video, where the first one we'll be upgrading from a vanilla server into a paper slash spigot server. The second part is we will be upgrading from a lower version of Minecraft to a higher version of Minecraft. And then the final section will be downgrading from a higher version of Minecraft to a lower version. To get started, always ensure that your server is offline. Once that's complete, you can go into the backup tab and before you ever change your Minecraft jar, ensure that you have a backup. This is to make sure that you have a backup of your world, your player data, mods, etc. As changing Minecraft jars if you do it incorrectly. Regardless, if you do it correctly or not, always make sure you have a backup. It's super helpful and Revive is not responsible if anything occurs during the upgrade process. Let's go into console, we'll go into versions, and since we are currently in 1.18 vanilla, I want to upgrade to paper, as paper and spigot are the same thing. Paper is just better optimized. Now I'm going to upgrade to paper 1.18.2, which is the same version I'm currently running. I'll go ahead and click yes, as I still want to keep all the files, so I do not change anything regarding that. We can close it, and then we can start it back up. This will be generating some new files for us, which is important to ensure that we have it properly installed. I don't need to wait for the entire loading process to ensure that we're running the correct version, as it states right at the beginning, this server is running paper version get paper 38.7. 1.18.2. So I can actually stop the server. This is exactly what we wanted. And if you're worried about your worlds, the paper will automatically migrate your files over it so it is running properly. As with vanilla Minecraft, it only runs it on one folder, but paper and spigot run it on three separate folders for your end, nether, and overworld dimensions. But since we ran paper just perfectly fine, it stated that there was no issues and we ran it successfully. Now let's upgrade from 1.18 to 1.19. Again, always create a backup. We'll go into the version changer again, click on 1.19, and we'll just upgrade from 1.18 to 1.19, click yes, and it ran perfectly. We're gonna go ahead and close that, go into console, go into console, and here we can start it back up. Get a few moments and it should start up. And as you can see right there, it is stating that it's already running 1.19.1, which is exactly what we wanted. It didn't take much, only two seconds to fully load up as we already have a world pre-generated, but it is working just fine. Now we'll do a more tedious task of downgrading. As of right now, no Minecraft version supports downgrading. So what we're going to do is actually stop the server. We're going to versions and this time I'll downgrade to 1.18.1. However, I'm going to go ahead and click keep files. So it's red to delete all the files and click install. Then I'll click yes, ensuring that I do want all my files to be deleted. Cause a lot of the times when you are downgrading, it will cause corruption within your world, not allowing it to start properly or just chunks overall being corrupted. But for this case, I'm going to be deleting everything because downgrading is not an option of Minecraft as the time of this upload. However, you can see we are getting some issues and this is perfectly normal. If you're switching from a higher version of Minecraft, you need to ensure that you have the proper version of Java as newer versions of Minecraft run Java 17, but 1.8, for example, runs Java 8 and 1.16 and below does run Java 8. So we'll go back into console and actually click startup and that should fix any bugs that we had on startup. We'll make sure it runs properly just so you can see. And there you have it, it is loaded up perfectly fine. And that's all it takes to upgrade and downgrade your Minecraft server. We hope this video was informative and if you like any other type of tutorials from Revive, let us know in the comment section below. Other than that, we hope you have an amazing day and thank you for choosing Revive Node.